get a check of the weather with meteorologist Daniel McFarland. Oh boy, Daniel, we have a lot to talk about, but let's be honest. We are so fortunate to be here in southern Arizona because right now the poor northeast is just getting hit so hard. Yes, yeah, so much snow for them and for us. You can walk outside in shorts and have no issue at all. And it's <laughs> nice and clear. So I think be thankful you live here for sure. Definitely. Yeah, well for right now, clear skies for just about everyone across the area here. And what I'm going to be showing you is a live look outside at Tucson. Of course, a little bit before sunset here, not a cloud out there. We're seeing tons of dry air and that's really going to be the case for the next few hours. And this dry air should be lasting into the day tomorrow. So no rain chances for us coming up soon. But I do think in the middle of next week, we might see those humidity values high enough where a rain chance might be headed our direction. And something else of note is that that wind has calmed down quite a bit. So I remember yesterday with all those strong winds we were talking about before and then earlier today we had that wind gust of 33. If you're outside right now, it's feeling much, much better. We still have an east wind, yes, and that's going to be changing as well, but it's under 10 miles per hour, which is always some good news. And for those of you trying to get outdoors for Saturday evening, I still would recommend a heavier jacket because with the dry air, you see that temperature fall just a little bit quicker out there and by about nine or 10 o'clock, you'll be in the mid 50s at that point. And if you're out as late as midnight, probably upper 40s, so maybe even a heavier jacket if you're going to be out that late at night. So what caused all of that wind yesterday was the fact that we had high pressure and low pressure so close together. As of right now, that high pressure is still there and the low has moved back. But here over the next few hours, you're going to see that high pressure move closer towards central New Mexico. And then this low that's actually causing some rain over in California right now is going to slowly make its way over towards Tucson. Now, I don't think we're going to be seeing rain from this low passing us by if you're in Tucson. Now, if you're in a spot like Safford, you could potentially see some of that rain passing you by. So for us, it's mainly going to be cloud cover passing us by here in Tucson. And then as we get into early, early Sunday, you're going to have those rain chances closer towards the north. Lots of Pinal County. You might see just a quick sprinkle of rain. Same thing with northern Graham County. And I know this model right here has it coming down towards Tucson just a bit for early tomorrow. I just don't see that happening with the dry air we already have in place. We have a lot to overcome if we're going to see any rain on Sunday. So I don't think it's going to be happening for us. Don't worry, we do have some smaller rain chances coming in for the middle of next week. Late Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday is going to be your best chance. And I think if you're in this green area here, 30% chance of rain for you. And unfortunately, if you're in Ajo, Sells, Casa Grande, only 10% chance. So better for Cochise County and Tucson as opposed towards the other half of Pima County right there. But don't think we're going to have a ton of rain here. It's going to be less than a tenth of an inch of rain for just about everyone, unless you see one of those weaker thunderstorms popping up, which is certainly going to be possible, especially during Wednesday afternoon. We saw that the past couple systems, we did see a couple weaker thunderstorms here. I don't think we're going to have anything significant, but if you do see that, keep in mind some isolated pockets of heavy rain could last for just a little while. Another thing of note, temperatures will be dropping a lot after we get done with that front. Down to 61 for a high on Thursday, then below the freezing point for early Friday morning. So Angelique, if you have plans on Friday, try to bring those up because I think waking up to 31 is going to be a little bit tough. I know, but to be honest, I actually like those chilly evenings. I'm enjoying them. Well, there you go. And great time to get out for next weekend for there sure. There you go. <laughs> All right, Daniel, thank you so much. All right, right now let's head on over to sports with News 4 Tucson's David Kelly. Welcome to News 4 Tucson Sports tonight. I'm David Kelly. A great early 